You are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testify. You are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Hallelujah. Everybody testify. You are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testifies. You are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testifies. You are good. My spirit testifies. You are good. My whole life testifies. You are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testify. You are good. Somebody welcome. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Welcome on board. Everybody testify. You are good. <clears throat> you are good, Jehovah. You are welcome on board. Everybody testify. You are. Let's sing to our God. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Sing with me. Everybody testify. He's good. He's good, Jehovah. You are good. My soul is testifying. You are good. My life is testifying. You are good. My body is testifying. You are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Somebody sing with me. He is good. Somebody sing with me. Our God is good. Somebody worship Jehovah with me. Somebody come and sing, come and sing. Somebody praise him, praise Jehovah. As you praise him, he will bless you today. As you praise him, he will bless you today. As you praise him, he will honor you today. As you praise him, he will heal your sickness. As you praise him, he will bless you today. As you praise him, he will promote you today. As you bless him, he will deliver you. Everybody come, let's praise Jehovah. Everybody come, let's praise Jehovah. Everybody come, let's praise Jehovah. I want to pray with you somebody today. I want to pray with you somebody today. I want to pray with someone today. I want to pray with someone today. I want to pray with someone today. I want to pray with you today, today. I want to pray with you today, today. I want to pray with you now, now, now. I want to pray with you now, now, now. I want to pray with you just now, just now. I want you to worship my God with me. I want you to praise Jesus with me. I want you to worship him. Jehovah is good. Please let's praise him. Jesus is good. Please let's praise him. My God is good. I say let's praise him. Our God is good. I say let's praise him. Our God is good. Come on, let's praise him. Jesus is good. Come on, let's praise him. Jesus is good. Come on, let's praise him. Jesus is good. I say let's praise him. Jesus is good. Have you click your share button now? I want you to click your share button now. Invite someone to be a blessing. I want you to share it, share it right now. Let us do the work of evangelism. Let us do the work of God together. Let us do the work of God together. Let us do the Walk of God together. I want you to bless the name of the Lord. I want you to bless the name of the Lord. 
I want you to bless the name of the Lord. I want you to bless the name. Somebody, are you happy this day? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy at all? I am happy every day of my life. Not because I have plenty, plenty money. Not because I have plenty, plenty houses. Not because I have plenty, plenty wealth too. Not because I have plenty, plenty anything. But because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Because the joy of the Lord is my beauty. The joy of the Lord is my beauty. The joy of the Lord is my beauty. Oh. Hey, the joy of the Lord is my beauty. Oh. The joy of the Lord is my beauty. The joy of the Lord is everything. Everything I pray for is His joy. The joy of the Lord is around me. I want you to praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Come on, let's praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Come on, let's praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Come on, let's praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Come on, let's praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Come on, let's praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Come on, let's praise Him. Jesus is good. I want you to praise the Lord right now. As you praise Him, you will get your joy. As you praise Him, you will be blessed. As you praise Him, you will be promoted. As you praise Him, sickness will run. As you praise Him, healing will come. As you praise Him, money will come. As you praise Him, yes, He will come. Everything will come. Everything will come. As you praise Him, the Lord, everything will come. As you praise Him, the Lord, everything will come. As you, you praise Him, you will see joy. Come on, come on, praise the Lord. I want you to be happy right there. I want you to be happy right there. I want you to be happy right there. Hallelujah. Is somebody enjoying the joy of the Lord? Are you enjoying the joy of the Lord? Are you enjoying the presence of the Lord? Are you enjoying it? Are you? If you are enjoying the presence of the Lord, I want to hear your amen like thunder. I want to see your amen the loudest. I want to see you type your amen, your amen, your amen, your amen. Type your amen that the Lord is good. He is good in your life. God is good. God is good. He has been there for us. God is good. Let us praise the Lord. God is good. He has been there for us. Oh my soul. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Do you know why you should praise God and just praise Him? Because there are times, you know, we undergo what we call battles that we don't know about. Seen and unseen battle, especially the unseen ones. There are a lot of unseen battles going on around the world today, coupled with the ones you're seeing and the ones you are not seeing. You can say direct, direct battle or indirect battle. Seen and unseen battle, the ones you see, like physical challenge, physical battle, someone coming confronting you physically. Or you see physical challenge, you know, in a way. But what about the unseen ones? Those ones are very dangerous. The battles that you don't see, but indeed they are going on in the spirit realm against your enemy, against you. Not you, your enemy. Unseen battles that the enemy has planned, they have cooked it. You know, they have, you know, injected it in the spirit realm to go, go after your life. But what happens? Why is it that they will plan it and it will not come to pass? It is because the Lord is with you. You are a child of God. Now, what about if you are not a child of God? What about if you are not a child of God? I mean, it's dangerous not to be a child of God. Because the moment you are not a child of God, you are just on your own. I am telling you. You are on your own. But the moment you are a child of God, you are born again, you have given your life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have confessed your sin. You have asked him to come into your life, to be your Lord and personal Savior from today that you will sin no more, but rather be a child of God indeed. 
indeed means in practice. You are a child of God in practice. You, 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 practice, you practice what you believe with all your faith. When the unseen battles come, because you are a child of God, you are under his care. There is no weapon that will fashion against you that will ever prosper. That is the promise of God. He says, surely they will gather, but not, not what? Not for me. <laughs> not for my sake, for your own sake. Somebody hear me. I'm here just today for just one purpose. One purpose. One purpose. And I know that it's for somebody. Is for somebody. God is here to deliver you, that person. That the enemy has been using, you know, indirect attack, indirect battle to come and feed you, to come and feed you with, you know, their useless food so that by the time you finish eating it, all your life will scatter, all your plans will scatter. But today, one of the powers that are scattering blessings in your life is eating in the dream. And that is what we want to address today. Eating in the dream. Eating in the dream. I just want to analyze a little bit about it. And then we'll go into deliverance prayer. Just somebody. I'm here for somebody. Somebody. God is about to deliver you from that spirit. Because enough is enough. Can I hear you shout enough is enough? Can I hear somebody shout enough is enough? When you shout it, shout it with confidence. Shout that enough is enough. That Shout it like you mean what you are saying. Shout it. The spirit of fear is not for the children of God. Prophesy and decree that enough is enough. Enough of eating in the dream. There, are enough, there, there, there is a lot of reasons why we encounter the spirit of almost there. The spirit of almost there and how it happened. And what causes it? One of the reasons is what I want to discuss with you now. Maybe you have been encountering spirit of almost there. You're almost there, you, you know. Something is coming your way. Before you know it, it will be prolonged. Something is about to happen. Something good is about to take place in your life. Before you know it, it will be prolonged. That is the hand of the devil prolonging your blessing. Prolonging your blessing. It might be fruit of the womb. It might be husband, it might be job, it might be your salvation, of course. It might be because when devil does not want you to receive Christ in your life, he, he wants you to remain in internal bondage. He wants you to remain in, in, in pain. He wants you to remain in agony. He wants you to perish as a sinner and go to hellfire. But I've come to prophesy to you today, by the power in the name of Jesus, hellfire is not your portion. Destruction is not your portion. Damage is not your portion. Shame is not your portion. That which the enemy is planning is not your portion. Wherever they are cooking it from. Because the hand of God is upon your life. And because I'm sent here today to come and pray with you basically for this. This spirit of eating in the dream. Today it must die in your life. In the name of Jesus. One of the reasons why you encounter some certain challenges in your life. One of them is the spirit of eating in the dream. Spirit of eating in the dream. Where is the power coming from? Mostly it comes from witchcraft kingdom witchcraft kingdom i don't want to really go deep inside the you know inside this teaching because i don't want to i'm not in the mood of too much teaching now i'm in the mood of prayer i am telling you i'm in the mood to pray for somebody kaya i'm i am in the mood to pray with somebody somebody that you know in your life you know deep down in your heart that you have been dreaming you have been eating in the dream you have been eating with unknown faces Sometimes it could be known faces, it could be member of your family. They, because they know how they manipulate that thing. Some of you, you have strong spirit of the fact that when you see yourself in a strange world, with strange people, with strange faces, you will not be able to eat. Some of you, you have strong spirit. It's good to have strong spirit. When you have strong sometimes they can't be able to manipulate you on some certain level. They want to force you to eat. But because you don't know their faces, they, you will say no, you will not want to. So when they know you are that kind of person, they will manipulate people that you know their faces. They could use your mother, they can use your brother, your sister, your family. They can even use you yourself. You see yourself like this, gather. You cook and present. And uh, it's as if you're eating with your family. 
That one could appear two two ways. Because sometimes, you know, you, you can cook in the dream, you know, maybe eating with your family. It might not be the negative one, you know. But sometimes you see yourself cooking and preparing and doing all those things, serving your your family yourself and eating too. Is is also you also stand as negative uh, you know one because of the symptoms. What do I mean? What do I mean by symptoms? The symptoms is the you know the 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 condition, the atmosphere of the revelation, you know, the atmosphere of the revelation. I mean, the circumstance, the the the, the ingredients within the the revelation. Only you know what you're seeing. Sometimes, you know, when someone have revelation, only the person knows the the, the, the environment of the revelation. So the environment of the revelation determines the determines the positive or the negative effect on you as a person who is dreaming that dream. <laughs> Somebody hear me. I am here to pray with you. If only you can connect with this prayer. If only you have faith. If only you remove spirit of doubt. If only you, you agree that today, every power that is tormenting you, giving you food in the dream to eat as a result of stealing your blessing, keeping you at a square level, one, one same place every year, the same place, no movement, no, pro, no promotion, no pro, you know. Ah, today, that spirit will die in the name of Jesus. I am telling you. Except if you are joking. If you are joking, well, it's up to you. But if you mean business right now, hey, you know that you are that person that God has sent me to here. Because of eating in the dream. You eat in the dream. You eat in the dream. You can't even resist it. Today, if God is God, and you believe in the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ, today, you are set free. I said you are set free from that spirit in the name of Jesus. Eating in the dream is one of the spirits. Is one of the you know, one of the, 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 the spirits that derives or, or destroys your blessings, destroys you both spiritually and physically. Yes, because when they manipulate you spiritually, they manipulate your blessing, they manipulate your glory, they manipulate your anything they want to manipulate. The next thing, it, it will begin to have effect on you physically. Maybe someone is about to give you contract. Before you know it, the contract will just go off. The contract will just go off. I'm only discussing just one thing, one of the, 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 the ways in which you can be manipulated in the dream and the effect is feeding you in the dream. Hallelujah. Beloved, if you are those people or among them that have been dreaming and you see yourself eating in the dream and you are connected to this prayer this afternoon, I want you to just thank God. Kneel down wherever you are. Kneel down. Where, please let us follow instruction. Instruction is very important in a prophetic and deliverance ministry. Instruction is very, very important. It's good to follow instruction. When you look at when God called uh, Abraham and asked him to sacrifice Isaac, you know, God told him specific instruction and he followed the instruction. He followed the instruction. So follow instruction right now. And see the hand of God move in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please I want you to kneel down right there where you are. Kneel down and confess Christ into your life right there where you are. After confessing that Christ into your life. Shout blood of Jesus seven times to come and take over your life. Shout blood of Jesus seven times to come and take over your life. Before we start prayer. I've told you. Eating in the dream is one of the ways in which the enemy is using to steal your blessings. To keep you at a particular level without moving to your next level. Eating in the dream. And where is this power coming from? Where is this power of eating in the dream coming from? Of course, it's coming from witchcraft. Coven. Witchcraft. Though they, they, they multi-link. That's what I'm telling you. This, this uh, message is, uh, is a very broad message. You know, but I don't want to go too much. I don't want to, no. I want to face one thing. That thing is eating in the dream. And the cause where the, 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 you know, the attack mostly comes from is from witchcraft coven. Witchcraft coven. Like I said, witchcraft coven, they have partners. They have partners. They partner with a lot of, you know, kingdoms as well. But I'm here to pray with you. If only you can believe in the name of Jesus Christ, that that yoke of eating in the dream, 
will be broken over your life today in the name of Jesus. That the mighty hand of God will deliver you and set you free and anoint your head afresh and send you forth to manifest your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, I want you to do that quickly. If you have done it, let me know you have done it so that we can continue. This is not time to shy. This is not time to shy and shy away your blessing. This is not time to shy and shy away your deliverance. This is not time to shy and shy away your hour. The Bible says there is time and season under everything that God has created on this planet Earth. Is it, this time is time for somebody. Oh, oh my God. Somebody. Just somebody. I don't know who he, the person is. Somebody. This ministration is for you. You have had enough. If you don't believe that you have had enough, I will agree with you by the power in the name of Jesus. I am here to join my faith together with your own faith to decree and declare and to tell you because you are you 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 you, you are you are the handmaid of God. God has created you in his own image. That spirit that is tormenting you, that spirit that is you know stealing from you, that spirit that is making you to eat in the dream and scattering your blessings, scattering your glory, that spirit today will die. In the name of Jesus. It will dry up. In the name of Jesus. I want you to click the share button. Please click the share button. Share this message. Do the work of evangelism. Be useful in the kingdom of God. Let's not be here alone. And not the doer of the word of God. I'm tired of that kind of people. I am telling you in Jesus name. Eh? Let's do the work of God. Those of you have, I have asked to kneel down wherever you are. Ask God to come into your life and plead the blood of Jesus to come into your life and dominate your body, dominate your life. Seven times before we go into prayer. <laughs> Meaning it is not a joke. <laughs> After this prayer, you see what will happen. Let me tell you something. A brother one time sent me a message on Messenger and he said, Woman of God, he said, looking at me, that was how he put it. He said, he believed that if I pray for him, that God will deliver him from this infirmity that he's going through. I said, what infirmity is that? I said, feel free to just, you know, share with me what you're going through. No, he told me, he said, you know, he has this spirit that he cannot resist it. You know, sleeping with women, sleeping with women. And he also dreamed that he's sleeping with women too in the dream, you know. I have a lot of them, a lot of couple of men like that have sent me this type of message. He's sleeping, you know, he can't resist, you know, sleeping with women. He's not married. That he can also resist it in the dream. And, and physical. You can see that, that that one is a very big one. That's what I'm telling you that this message now hmm, is a very broad one. I don't want to link it to others so that I don't get too much, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, yeah. I want to focus on one thing as I'm led today. And this one today is the power of eating in the dream. So what am I saying? Their brother told me. He said he'd been sleeping with women, you know. Sometimes he would dream, he would see himself, before he woke up in the dream, he see himself wet, all those things. Those are still the signs that you are under demonic manipulation and under demonic attack. All these things, you, you see that one, eh? You see this one that this brother said now? Nah, he's He always see himself sleep in the dream, sleep with women in the dream, and also when he wake up sometimes he see himself wet. You see, that one, the power is coming from the water world. This particular one now, the power, most especially, is manipulated from the water world. From the water world, marine spirit, queen of course, from their kingdom. That is, that is majorly their job. But this particular one we are doing now, we are praying on now, is eating in the dream. Which, the power is mostly come from witchcraft coven. The almighty link. A kind of the almighty link. And after praying with that brother, I prayed with that brother. I sent him some prayer points. I sent him some scriptures. You know, I gave him counseling. I am telling you, I told him to go and pray these prayers fast. I told him some certain spiritual principles to do. You know, sometimes people are very lazy. You want deliverance, but you, you, you don't want to pay the price. You want deliverance, but you don't want to follow principle. You don't want to follow re, 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 principles and regulation. You don't know that in the calendar of God, in the, in the, in the, in the calendar of God, there is what we call principle. There is principle. There is, there is all ordinances of, you know, you follow things in order. 
so that things will work well. Need done in your house, I repeat again, if you know that you are dreaming, you are eating food in the dream. I will start praying now. I don't want you to miss what I'm telling you. Need done in your house there, wherever you're watching from, it doesn't matter. Lift your hands up. Ask the Lord to come into your life to be your Lord and personal Savior. After doing that, begin to decree the blood of Jesus to come into your life and possess your life, possess your body. When you are calling this blood of Jesus, you call it with faith. You call it with faith. Call it with faith. Call the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Seven times. Come into my life. Possess my body. Possess my soul. Possess my spirit. Blood of Jesus. Come and dwell in me. When the blood of Jesus dwells in you, that in witchcraft, you know, you cannot be manipulated to eat witchcraft food in your dream anymore. I am telling you, shout it. When you do it, finish. Come, uh, Sister Stephanie Roden, how are you? God bless you. Please, I want to quickly correct one thing. You know, among us, because most times we, we, we do it not because we are doing it knowingly, you know, we may be doing it unknowingly to us. You know, I want us, please, please, I want us to be addressing or writing the name of God with capital letter. You know, when you write the name of God, starting with capital G, um, uh, small letter G, you are actually addressing to gods. I mean, you know, fetish gods, fetish idols. That's what the, that's what the Bible, that's how the scripture describe it. Gods. But when you now address God with capital letter G O D, God, you are actually referencing. You know, you can now know the. For example, now the 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 right capital small letter G O D, God, and the capital letter G O D. They now ask someone, what is the difference between these two names? Small letter G O D, capital letter G O D. They are God, God, but the greater one, the the main God we know, we are talking about is G O D. The capital letter G, which is God. Please let us learn to address God with capital letter G. God is not addressed with capital with a small letter G because our God is not the, the gods. It's not gods. It's not like it's not the God of idol. It's not an idol God. It's not um a, you know a carved image. You know, He's the supreme God, the God of the whole world, the God that rules even over. The gods we are, we are we are talking about the small letter G O D, Hallelujah! I pray that the Lord will give us more understanding in Jesus' name. <clears throat> we, we are correcting us with love. I'm not trying to embarrass us. You know the, the, the Bible said the word of the Lord is is for correction and ch chastisement. You know encouragement and rebuking. Hallelujah! So praise Master Jesus. So if you're here right now, I said, if you know you're dreaming, you're eating in the dream. If you like, be ashamed. If you like, be, sh be shy. Hmm. Jesus is passing this way. This way. This way. Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way right now. Sing that song. That is it. Sing that song right there where you are. From your heart. Say Jesus is passing this way. Which way? Your way, your direction. Jesus is passing your way right now. He's passing your own direction. Jesus is passing this way. Magada Bashataya. This way. This way. Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way. Right now, please let us be in the spirit. This is not a kind of prayer. We are not this. This the what we want to do now. <laughs> it's not a kind of thing. I want us to connect in the spirit so that you won't have attack after this prayer. Jesus is passing this way. This way. This way. Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way right now. He's passing. 
Jesus is passing my way, my way, my way. Jesus is passing my way, he's passing my way right now. Father, we thank you because we know you're passing our way right now. Jesus, I want to bless on them because I know you're passing the way of your children right now. I know you're passing their way right there where they are. You know where they are right now. You know the location where they are. You know the places where they are. You know the distance from where they are connecting to this prayer right now, God. Father Jehovah God, you are the God that answered by fire. Father Lord, you know them by their names. You know their faces. You know them, oh God, you know what they are going through. You know those ones that are eating in their dream. And as a result, oh my God, this spirit has kept them where is not where you have planned for them. Papa, because you know that they are tired of that situation. Some of you know, some of you don't even know. You don't know it, you dream it, but you don't understand it. You eat in their dream, you eat in their dream. You have tried your best, you don't know what to do. But I am telling you, what you are going to do, confess Jesus, accept him as a Lord and personal Savior, plead the blood of Jesus seven times before we start praying. That power from witchcraft coven. The Bible says we should, not, we, should, we should suffer witch not to live. For they do not glorify the name of the Lord. Anything from witchcraft coven does not glorify the name of the Lord. And that is why we are here to bind them, to cast them, to change their power by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of eating in the dream today will catch fire and return back to their coven and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you, beloved, to receive your deliverance today from this particular spirit, this denier spirit, this killer spirit. This stagnation spirit, because that is the, pro, the, the fruit of all this spirit. When you eat in the dream, it will cause a lot of damage in your life. But I am here to tell you, if you are among them, directly or indirectly, as you are not ashamed today to observe the instructions I have given to you, plead the blood of Jesus into your life. Plead the blood of Jesus into your life. Welcome Jesus into your life. Announce him into your life. Denounce devil, begin to denounce devil and his agents because the witchcraft coven is one of the agents of de the devil. Begin to denounce devil, say devil in the name of Jesus. I bind you in my life. Yes, you devil, right now, quit from my body. You devil, you properties of devil in my life, go out, go out. Somebody, I want you to mean what you are saying. I don't want somebody to come here and be looking at me or. Oh. Know how many people that are kidding. I want you to know what they are doing. Connect. Begin to say something. Open your mouth. You properties of the devil. Properties of the you know witchcraft coven. In my body today. Move in the name of Jesus. Because one of the things that can give the devil access into your life in that manner is sin. Nothing but sin. Sin. I don't want to emphasize on it too much. Because it's not today we have been hearing about this sin, 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 sin. We have heard enough sin, oh, you know what sin is about. Anything that is not good is sin. Anything you do, you know it's not good. Your conscience is telling you this sin is not good. That is sin. Amen? It's sin. So run away from sin. Run away from anything evil. Because that is what is giving them legal grant. Legal grant in your life. Hallelujah. That's what is giving them legal ground in your life. And that's why I, t I told you to confess Jesus right now as your Lord and Savior. I mean it. Not confession of hypocrite. Too. Not that you're confessing it because you need prayer of deliverance. Yes, I can, I can agree with you now. And I pray for you and uh, you will see. Because God wants to confirm his word. God, will, God cannot dis, dis, you know, dishonor his servant. Yeah, I'm telling you, God honors the, the word of his servant. He honored them. He don't joke with them. I'm telling you. But what about if you receive the deliverance and you don't have Christ to maintain it? It is the power that of, of Christ that is in you that will help you to maintain this prayer. 
and, and enable this prayer to, to be rooted in you and continue to function in order to resist that spirit of eating in the dream when they come again. It is the sin in you. It is when you denounce sin and accept Jesus truly in your life that when you step out today now, whether you are a liar, you stop lying. Whether you are a fornicator, you stop it. Whether you are a hypocrite, you stop it. Whether you are a gossiper, you stop it. Whether you, you, you just know how to steal from people, you stop it. Whatever you know you are doing, everybody know what they are doing one way or the other. You stop it so that your deliverance can be permanent. Maybe you are that person that likes robbing people. You, 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 you have contract. You lie, lie, lie. You package lie. You know, in, in, in that contract because of money. You, you need money. Who don't need money? Must you, must you corrupt your, 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 must you, must you take from somebody to be rich? All those things is what is part of what is giving devil illegal grant, witchcraft coven, illegal grant to come and be feeding you so that you won't even enjoy the divine blessing of God. What do you know? Divine blessing of God is the blessing the hand of God himself can give. Now, how, you need to have access to it. But the enemy will be telling you, the devil will be telling you to do things that will make you, you know, pollute your body so that they will come and have access and be, and be mesmerizing your destiny in the dream. But today, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the power of God will go through this ministration and touch you right there where you are and touch your heart against sin in the name of Jesus. That as you begin to confess Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior right now, healing is taking place in your life, deliverance is taking place, you know, power is changing hands in your life, and you are manifesting your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, God bless you, Sister Stephanie. Move out of my life in the name of Jesus. Command them. Every property of the, 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 you know, the, the witchcraft people, every property of the devil, Command them to move out your body now. Command them to move out in the name of Jesus. Beloved, the Bible says in, in Psalm 3 verse 8, it says, Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessings be upon your people. Salah. You see? Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessings be... What? He said, Salvation... Be, the psalmist says that Salvation belongs to the Lord. And Father, because your salvation belongs to the Lord, may your children inherit your blessings. Because your salvation is upon your children, may they inherit your blessing. Somebody, do you want to inherit blessing today? Do you want to inherit the blessing of God? That your blessing which the enemy is, is, is manipulating through giving you food in their dream. That your blessing, that your miracle, that your expectation, the enemy is manipulating through giving you food in their dream. So that you will not, in fact, so that they will rob you of that which God has packaged for you. Look at what the psalmist says, salvation belongs to the Lord. And because you are saved in the arms of the Lord, you are entitled to God's blessings. And why is it that you are, you are not getting those blessings? Because most times, most of us are not saved. We claim to be saved, but we are not. Why? Because we are still living in sin. We, are, we still engage or indulge ourselves into one secret sin or the other. And today, the Lord is telling myself and you today that we should come out from secret sin. That we should come out from sin, any kind of sin that is giving the devil illegal ground in order to come and rob us our blessing through eating in the dream from the power of witchcraft. Today, which is, which is one of the agents of darkness operating in the world of today. Today, if God be God, which I know he is and he will continue to reign. I pray that you receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance wherever you are watching from. Please click the share button. Click this share button. People must be delivered and be saved. Let's obey instruction. Click the share button. Share this message. Those of you that have shared, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. And may your blessings, your deliverance, may it not elude you in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to click the share button. Click the share button. Click. If you love God, do his work. Obey the word of God. Hallelujah. Do the work of evangelism. And he shall, he shall be well with you. The Lord will beautify you. 
Because he said, beautiful are the feet of those who do what? Who spread the gospel. God will beautify your feet. Remember, it is your, 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 your feet, your, your, your two legs you're using to move about, to look for your daily bread. bread. It's your legs, your legs you're using to move about for your daily bread. So when you do the work of evangelism, the Bible says, beautiful are the feet of those who do what? Who spread the gospel. Who spread the gospel? Spread the gospel right now. Let God beautify your feet. Let God direct your feet to the right path. Where your deliverance will come. Where you receive your, your breakthrough, your, your turn around. In the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> Somebody help me to put that scripture on the screen. Psalm 3 verse 8. Salvation belongs to the Lord. And his blessings upon his children. Today. Say, Father, deliver me from every captivity of the enemy. And rain down your blessing upon me. Deliver me from every captivity of the enemy. And rain down your blessing upon me. Father my God I pray for your children today. Deliver them from every captivity of the enemy. From every captivity of sin. From every captivity of iniquity. From every captivity of whatever that is not of you. Deliver them O God. Deliver me O God. Deliver them O God. From every captivity of darkness. From every grip of darkness. From every hold of darkness. Rasakataya basada. Deliver them, O oh God. Deliver them, O oh God, from every grip of the enemy. Deliver them, O oh God, and rain your blessing. Rain your blessing upon them. Rain your blessing upon me. Rain your blessing upon your children. Rain your blessing upon us today. Deliver us from the hand of the enemy. Deliver us from the coven of witchcraft. Deliver us from the table of witchcraft. Deliver us from the kitchen of witchcraft today. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, deliver us, O oh God. Deliver us, O oh God. Set us free. Let the power of your salvation dominate every power of darkness in our lives. Let the power of salvation that is in Christ Jesus set me free from every bondage of darkness. Let the power that's raised Jesus from grave, oh God, deliver us today from every power that's not the power of God today. Let them lose their grip over us. Let them lose their grip over my life. Let them lose their grip over my children. Let them lose their grip over my family. Let them lose their grip over my husband, over this ministry. Every grip of the enemy over CBHRM by the power in the name of Jesus, I curse you today in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, Cause shall be those we curse, and blessed shall be those that we bless today by the power in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that any hand, that any eye, any imagination of wickedness against Christ, the beauty of holiness international ministry, against my viewers, against the viewers of this ministry, against the followers of this ministry, every blessing orchestrated for the children of God, uh, those who believe in the name of Jesus all over the world, even those that are not following me, it doesn't matter, as long as you believe in the name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, I can't know everybody, but those who know me, my God, I use them as a point of contact to reach every genuine child of God wherever they are. My God and my Father, today, that spirit of eating in the dream that's deriving them, depriving them of their blessing, tying them in one place today, this year, 2018, Masakata, shall be their year of deliverance, shall be their year of breakthrough, shall be their year they will know that Jesus is Lord. Today, in the name of Jesus, I pray from my heart, oh God, deliver your children, as many that are truly born again, from the whole world, as many that are truly born again, as many that are crying for deliverance, as many that are crying for turn around, as many that are crying for breakthrough, as many that are crying for open door, as many that are crying for salvation, as many, as many, Malika Tapale Brosoto Ika Prakata Yada, Sokoto le brazu dele gede gede rika brazu tele mazi gede de boshata ya in the name of Jesus I break and loose you in the name of Jesus I set you free from that power that's manipulating you to eat in the dream to feed you with nonsense from today purge out every negativity of the enemy in your body system today purge it out 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 Hey, somebody, I don't know your prayer. I don't know you pray with me, oh my God. Where are the prayer warriors of the kingdom? Where are they? Where are they? In the name of Jesus, loose your grip over them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, that spirit that is causing you to eat in the dream, that is depriving you of your blessing, polluting you, polluting your body, 
polluting your body today blood of jesus set you free blood of jesus lose you blood of jesus set you free in the name of jesus christ of nazareth yes hallelujah the bible says again in psalm 18 verse 2 the bible please help me put any scripture i quote in the screen please psalm 18 verse 2 the bible said the lord is my rock if the lord is a rock you are unmovable say i am unmovable witchcraft coven i am unmovable somebody type it i don't know what we are what are we doing are we busy witchcraft coven i am unmovable witchcraft coven i am unmovable the kitchens of the witchcraft coven i am unmovable their pots i am unmovable their plates and fork knife i am unmovable you can't move me because jesus is my rock say the lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer hey look at that word who else can deliver you from this spirit of eating in the dream? It is the Lord who is your rock. It is the Lord who is your savior. He said, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge. Where do you take refuge again from the hands of the Lord? He said, my shield and my horn of my salvation. My stronghold. Hey, this scripture is very sweet. Say, daddy, by the power that is in your word. In Psalm 18 verse 2. Today. I release. The rock of heaven. To wage war. Hey. Against every power. Fighting my glory. I release the rock of heaven. To begin to wage war on my behalf today. In the spirit realm. I decree and I declare. Let the rock of heaven. Begin to fall down today and begin to fight on my behalf. Let the rock of heaven be released on my behalf. Begin to guide me, begin to shield me, begin to fight battles that I cannot fight on my own. In the name of Jesus, somebody begin to pray that prayer, 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 pray, 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 Mazi gede de 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 re gede bozo do liga ya bala bo shata ya dada re gede bozo to li brande de bo shata ya yes yes begin to pray 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 that the Lord will rain down His rock yes the rock of heaven oh rock of heaven fall down fall down fall down wage war against every power waging war fighting my glory fighting my life fighting my destiny oh blood of jesus oh blood of jesus wage war against the kingdom of witchcraft oh god of oh god of power wage war against every power that's not of you oh rock of ages arise begin to release thunderstone 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 pray that prayer Say God release thunderstone in the camp of witchcraft. That witchcraft pot they are using to cook to feed me in the dream. That witchcraft knife, witchcraft cup, witchcraft table, witchcraft kitchen. Today I release thunder from heaven. I release thunderstone from heaven. I release brimstone from heaven. Begin to break and scatter. Begin to break and lose. Begin to scatter their company, scatter their kitchen, scatter their garden, scatter their ingredient. They are using to cook everything, whatever. Sister, God, God bless you. God bless all of you that is joining. We may call it. God bless you. Yes, we may call it. God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. God bless you for joining. As you're joining, please click this your share button. Share so that people can join us. You only you cannot be delivered. There are a lot of people that are going through what you're also going through. To so let them receive their deliverance in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, rock of ages, rock of ages, clear for me. Oh God, clear ways for me today. Deliver me from the coven of darkness. Blood of Jesus, deliver me from the coven of witchcraft kingdom in the name of Jesus. Jesus, <sighs> hallelujah, yes, yes, I can, I'm receiving strength, you know, when you pray one kind of prayer, you see, your body will, I'm telling you, <laughs> this thing, this thing we are doing is not a kind of thing, <laughs> it's not a kind of thing, no. the prayer of our warfare is not kind of, it's not kind of, 
you know, because we are dealing on spiritual things, so it's not kinda. You have to fill yourself with the strength of the Lord. Yes. <clears throat> Hmm. Look at, look at, look at. Look at what the Bible is saying in 2 Kings 18.33. 2 Kings 18.33. And the Bible says, has, has any one of the gods, that is why I'm telling you, those of you that are calling, are spelling the name of God with the capital, with the small letter G. Small letter G-O-D is not God of heaven. No. He is the God of the earth. Worldly, earthly gods. Look at what the scripture is saying in 2 Kings. P please put it on the screen for me. 2 Kings 18.33 The Bible says, Has any one of the gods of the nations, you see, God of the nations, delivered his land from the hand of the king of Assyria? Do you see that question? Do you see? This scripture is telling us, to those of you who believe your deliverance can come from friend. Deliverance can come from marine spirit. Deliverance can come from witchcraft coven. Deliverance can come from native doctor. Those of you who believe that your deliverance can come from anything fetish. Let me use it generally. The scripture is asking. He said, has any one of these gods, has any one of these gods, all the earthly gods people are running to. They go to river to, to shower. You, you, they, they will tell you go to that prophet. Prophet will shower you with one soap or the other. You will conceive. Do this sacrifice. Do that one. Do that one. All those things are the gods of the earth. You are seeking direction from where there is no you know, solution. That was our discussion yesterday. I don't want to go that side. Please. Let us focus on. I want you to focus your mind on God. Who is the deliverer of any kind of affliction. Second Kings 18.33 is asking myself and you, has any one of these gods of the nations delivered his land from the hands of the king of Assyria? Are we not among people living in the land of today in, the, in this world? The Bible says, whatever the soul of our feet shall tread upon, we shall possess. Where is your soul treading upon? Is it not on the surface of the land? There are some lands or, or, you know, nations, cities, villages, countries who believe in the gods of their land. They believe in the gods of their, of their land. They worship their God. They sacrifice human blood, animal blood, a lot of things. They believe that is where their deliverance will come from. Their healing, their protection will come from. I am telling myself and you that if you have personal idol, because most of us will have personal idol, Direct idol and indirect idol. Personal idol are the ones you idolize. You idolize yourself yourself. You idolize yourself with fornication. You idolize yourself with lying. You idolize yourself with, you know, gossip, immorality. You idolize yourself with a gang up, ganging up against innocent person. You idolize yourself with anything that is not godly. It's sin. That one could be the, the your own idol. Yes, it may be. Yes, somebody may say, but I don't go to native daughter. I don't go to, I don't have any, any secret court. I don't belong to any, any kind of thing. Yes, your own idol may be, all these ones I mentioned, it might be money, it might be, it might be anything. It might be fighting. Every time you are fighting, quarry is idol. Hate is idol. It's idol. Those things are idol. Know your own idol. Chase it out today in the name of Jesus. Because the word of God has challenged myself and you. In 2 Kings 18 verse 33, he said, Has any of these gods of the nations delivered his land from the, from the hand of the king of Assyria? All this while you've been patronizing native doctor, patronizing marine spirit. All this while you've been patronizing all sort of immorality in your life. As a result of what you think can bring that, you know, deliverance. Has anything happened? No. The question is no. But now that nothing has happened, who do we look up to? We look up to Jesus by going, by reflecting on that scripture again. Which you can reflect on Psalm 3 verse 8 and Psalm 18 verse 2. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my Lord is good. Our God is good. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Our Lord is good. All the time. All the time. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is awesome. All the time, all the time, our God is great. Hallelujah, our Lord is good. All the time, hallelujah. Praise God. I want us to go to, let's see what the Bible is saying in um, Isaiah. Isaiah 43 verse 13. Somebody put it on the screen. Isaiah 43 13. And the Bible says, even from eternity, even from eternity. Oh my God. God is great. Hey, even, for, even from eternity. I am He. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, Even from eternity, I am He. God is saying He's He. God bless you. God bless you for putting that scripture on the screen for me. He said, Even from eternity, I am He. And there is none who can deliver out of my hand. Who is saying that? God is saying. That even from eternity, I am God. And there is no, 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 who can deliver out of my hand. I act and who can reverse it. God is telling, the word of God is telling myself and you. That if you are in God's care, if you are in God's control, if you are in God's protection, who can cause you? Who can manipulate you? Who can feed you in the dream? Nobody. I am telling you that, you know, he said, if, if, if the enemy, if God is able to attack your enemy, like you're praying now, you're challenging the, the you know, witchcraft coven, get out of my life, every power feeding me the dream, catch fire, witchcraft coven in my life, die. You are, you are handling this case into the hand of God. And God is reassuring you that whoever he captures, Nobody can do what deliver that person from his hand. Whoever God has captured, whoever the power of God has laid hold on, no demon, no power, nothing, nothing. No, I say nothing. Even from eternity, he said, "I am He. God is He, and there is none who can deliver anyone out of my hand. Nobody. I act, and who can reverse?" Now look at that. I act. God is saying that he acts. Acting means action. In other words, I take action. If I take action, who can reverse it? You are calling on God for deliverance today. And I believe that God is going to act on your, on, your, on your behalf. And if God acts on your behalf, by the virtue of your genuine confession today, and acceptance of Christ into your life, God is going to be provoked and he's going to act. And if he acts on your behalf, he's telling the world, he's telling myself and you that nobody can reverse what he has picked interest on. Nobody can reverse the blessing God is about to give to you. Nobody can reverse your healing, your deliverance. Nobody can cage you anymore because God is about to act. You have committed the wicked, the witchcraft coven that are feeding you in the dream every night. Into the hands of God. You are summoning them into the court of heaven. We are summoning them into the court of heaven. And God is going to act. He's even acting. He's acting already. In the name of Jesus. No power can reverse that which God has begun in your life. No kingdom can stop that which God has begun in your life. The hand of deliverance of the Most High God that have rested upon you today. Shall be permanent because you are the Lord's chosen. You are you are great in the hand of God. And therefore no power can, can alter that great thing that, that the Lord has started in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on to those scriptures very well. They are very powerful. Hmm. 
Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible is also telling us in Isaiah 36 verse 18. It says, be, be, be aware that Hezekiah does not mislead you, saying, the Lord will deliver us. Has any of the gods of the nations delivered his land from the hand of the king of Assyria? God is still repeating again. Look at that. This question now is going to those of us who are following people who is misleading us into destruction. Some of us now, because you have been eating in the dream, you have been dreaming that you eat in the dream. You have been dreaming. You eat in the dream, you eat in the dream, and a lot of things have been happening, you know, as a result of that dream, uh, food you are eating in the dream. You have been trying your best to find solution to it, but you don't know what to do. Your life is just miserable every year, every year. And one day, perhaps, you now explain to your friend or somebody, hey, hey, this is what I'm going through, and the person has nothing good or any advice to offer you than to tell you negative place where you can find solution. God is telling you to be careful about people like that, Hezekiah. You, you should be careful. 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 There are people that are just there to deceive you. They will behave as if they want to help you out, to find solution of your problem, but uh, ignorantly on them, or non ignorantly, however, they may not know what they are doing, or they know what they are doing, luring you too into what cannot bring healing or deliverance to your eating in the dream, which has been causing a, a catastrophe in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, Please help me put that Isaiah 36 verse 18. Put it on the screen. Isaiah, we have mentioned Isaiah 43, 13. And this one now is Isaiah 36. Isaiah 36 verse 18. Please help me put it. Hmm. And again, the scripture says in Psalm 34 verse 17. He said, the righteous cry, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their trouble. I'm going to end here. There are a lot of scriptures we can, you know, be encouraging ourselves, getting strength from. But because of time, I'm just going to stop here today. As we cry, say, Father, as I cry out to you today, concerning this spirit of eating in the dream, mention that matter. You have to be specific. Because sometimes we pray um, and don't get answer because we pray and miss. Now, there is a reason why we are praying. We are praying against eating in the dream. So now say, Lord, you said the righteous cry and you hear them. You said the righteous cry and you hear them. In your word in Psalm 37, Psalm 34 verse 17. He said the righteous Christ and the Lord hear them and deliver them out of all their trouble. Say today, O oh Lord, as I cry to you today, deliver me from the spirit of eating in the dream. Mention it. Deliver me from the spirit of eating in the dream in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from the spirit of eating in the dream. Lord, I pray for your children. Begin to pray while I also pray. Father, I deliver your children. For the in their dream, every spirit of eating in their dream over their life today is nullified by the power in the blood of Jesus. Spirit of eating in their dream today over their life, I curse you. Spirit of eating in their dream over their life today, be nullified by the power of heaven. In the name of Jesus, angels of heaven, release your, 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 your power right now. Release your weapon right now to war against every kitchen of witchcraft, every coven of witchcraft, cooking food against the children of God today. Let the blood of Jesus destroy, 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 de destroy, set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. Let Jehovah set you free in the name of Jesus. Let God set you free in the name of Jesus. Let God set you free in the name of Jesus. Let God set you free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we pray that 
to set your children free right now from this spirit of eating in the dream. I soak them with the blood of Jesus. I soak them with the blood of Jesus. I soak them with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise God. Praise God. Beloved, that is the end of today's prayer. I want you to begin to thank God for your deliverance. Begin to thank God for your deliverance. Please, I want to beg you, don't go back to sin. Don't, don't sin again because sin is, the, is, what, is what is giving the witchcraft coven you know, access to be able to catch you cheap and feed you. And as they feed you like that, they rob you of your glory, they rob you of your blessing, they rob you of your... They pollute your body. They pollute your body. I mean, that this is not the effect of feeding you in the dream. And I don't want to talk of the effect now. You know, there's a lot of the effect of eating in the dream. We just, we just treat on feeding, eating in the dream itself and where the power come from. The power come from witchcraft, coven, and feeding in, eating in the dream itself is not a good thing. And what is giving, uh, uh, giving such power, legal grand, over your life, to have effect in your life is sin. We have explained all those ones. Okay, I can, I can brief, uh, briefly also explain the effect of it. The effect of eating in the dream is to pollute your body, pollute, you know, rob you of your blessings, spiritually and physically. To, you know, de 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 deprive you from attaining to the height God wants you to attain. Hallelujah. Depriving you of your blessing, robbing you of your blessing, delaying, you're wasting your time. Anything good, they rob it off spiritually. Eating in the dream can scatter your prayer life, can scatter your your your, mm -hmm. your, 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 your blessing. It can cause anything. So that is the effect mm -hmm. in your life when you are fed in the dream as a result of weakness in prayer. When you, especially when you eat in the dream, the, 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 you know, the effect is, it will have more effect in your spiritual life. Hallelujah. And when it has effect like that, it will begin to manifest physically. And the things you're supposed to be, you know, will be eluding you. Today, those power is broken. Follow the principle of God. Live a holy life. Live a righteous life. Live sin. Hold on to God. And your deliverance today will be permanent. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Say, God, I thank you for delivering me. I thank you for setting me free. Today, I am a free person. No more eating in the dream. In the name of Jesus, I reject it. Whatever you, you say happens. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all for tuning in. That is the end of today's ministration. If you have not clicked the share button, click the share button and share with people. Let them be a blessing to this message. I want to also encourage us to please like our ministry page, Christ the Beauty of Holiness International Ministry. Please visit our page, like it, join our women ministry, Empowered Women of Zion by Evangelist Lovely in Obi. That is the new one now that I, that I, 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 I linked to the main ministry page. We have the old one, which is Empower Women of Zion, not with by Evangelist Lovely Nobi. So the new one now is Empowered Women of Zion by Evangelist Lovely Nobi. Why? Because it's linked with the ministry main page. Hallelujah. For easy management. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. so for easy management. So that is it. And I want you to, maybe you, you want to know more about our ministry. I want you to visit our website on www.cbhim.org somebody help me type the website www.cbhim.org that is the ministry website please let me type it god bless you in the name of jesus www.cbhim.org please i want to encourage those of you that have been supporting me sharing the messages i preach you know your likes your comments May the Lord bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, there is something I want to tell us. You know, I, I mean, I'm not, uh, I don't know how I'm going to say it, but I just have to say it because there is need for it. 
we have a project in Nigeria, our mission house project, you know, we are building in Nigeria for the benefit of the masses. I am telling you, it's not joke. Yes, I want you to be a partaker of what God is doing in that place. Please, if you have not sown your seed to support that building project, please kindly do because we need your support at the moment. If you go to my world, you see the, the building is already at the roofing level. God Almighty has used people who has supported the building to the roofing level now. It's already at the roofing level and by the grace of God, we are still believing God for money, for the roofing and for the other work that is, is still remaining. You know, the roofing, the, the skeleton of the roofing, the roofing itself, um, you know, uh, uh, piping, wiring, plastering the building in and out. You know, jama flooring the place. So we still need a lot. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Ume. God bless you, dear. God bless you. God bless you, one In the mighty name of Jesus. So we need. We still need money. Please, whatever God is laying in your heart to support, please don't hesitate to send me message. Send me message and be a blessing to that building. Let us finish that uh, mission house and let the reason why we are building that mission house begin to take effect in your life and in the life of the community. And from there, spreading to other places, other nations of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you as you obey and as you are willing to sow. May the Lord honor you in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I remain your God's sent servant, Evangelist Lovelin Obi, ministering to you once again from Christ, the beauty of holiness, international ministry. God bless you until I come your way again tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.